Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, as you guys can probably tell from the title description, today we're lowering the Sound TC. And this is not my car, this is my cousin's. Saludos, wey. Manda saludos. Quieres decir la cámara? Viva Estados Unidos. ¿Cómo te sientes, wey? Pues aquí. Bien crudo a la verga, ¿no? la verga. Sí, wey. Yeah, so this is um, my cousin's car right here. It's a 2014 Sound TC. Let me give you the back. All right, here we got the coilovers. Hopefully you guys can see because it's sunlight. All right, so the, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a website that my cousin got it from, ECCPP. He got him for 281.51. So hey, I don't know if they're gonna ride good. Hopefully they do. Um, but we'll see once we install them. I'll let you guys know. Y tenemos la SS clone. Sheesh. La otra SS clone in the making. Just needs a paint job or a wrap or some shit. One hour later. Alright, so first thing you gotta do is remove this ABS line and this brake line over here from the strut. And it's just a 13 mil with an right here. Alright, what's next, Primo? What's next? What's next? Saber. Explica tu hijo tu puta man. Es quitar estos. Pero no lo quiten así tan a la brusca. Tienen que meter un gato y levantar esta madre poquito. No, ablojan los primero. Las tuercas, esos dos, y no los terminen de sacar, pongan el gato, por, a, por aquí también no son pendejos en el disco. Como otro. <laughs> Alright, so next thing you gotta do is remove these two bolts right here. Um, ¿Qué lado es? It's a uh, 22. It's a uh, 22 millimeter. Before you remove those bolts, you want to jack up the uh, lower control arm um, just so the suspension doesn't drop down. Alright, once you have these two bolts up, now you gotta remove the top part of the end link right here. Ahí vas a tener que usar una llave y. ¿Por atrás? Yeah, y el hex. Las de esas negras. So basically you're gonna use a 17mm wrench and a 6mm uh, Allen wrench. Ah, está roto. Oh, wait, tengo guantes si ocupas. Really, nigga? No, que muy chingón. Alright, so after you remove the end link, um, you're gonna have to remove this upper piece. I don't know what you call it. Um, where the windshield wipers are at. Um, first thing you wanna do is remove the windshield wipers. There's a little cover that covers them. All you gotta do is pop them off and then it'll re reveal the nut. Give me that this way. Uh, 40. Huh? 14? And it's a uh, size 14. Alright, and so you don't lose your nuts and bolts. Make sure you just put them back. And then take that off. All you basically do is just pull it up. All right, so once you remove uh, these plastic covers, right there, I haven't removed that one yet, but um, once you remove these, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove these two bolts right here, which are 10, and then we're just gonna bend this back so we can get access to the that bolt right here. We remove uh, this bolt right here, this one over here, and then after that, we just bent this back so we can, uh, so we can get access to these ones right here. And these are Camilla, size 14. But if you guys don't want to bend this, um, you'd have to remove uh, the windshield wiper motor, which is this one right here, this one right here, and I think that's it. There might be another one hidden somewhere, but you guys will find it. And then to remove this cover right here, um, they're just 10 millimeter bolts all around. So you guys can see this one right here, right there, right there, right there, and they just go all the way around, you just basically remove them, and then you can get out that out the way, so then you can access the 
upper strut bolts. Took them away! Tienes que quitarle este, güey, sacarlo. Ese ya lo tienes por el medio, está roto ya. Por ahora te digo, se lo voy a cambiar de una vez. Está roto. Entonces agárrale una pinche palanca, hazle palanca. Cochinado, güey. Pues encamado. Hazle palanca, güey, ten. Así no, pendejo. Ah, ¿cómo? Así era. Ahí va, ahí va, ahí va. Oye, oh, yeah, yeah. ah, ah, no tiene, ¿no? Ah, 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 Tírase al carro. <laughs> All right, so here's a side by side comparison. Aquí están tus pinches manos. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. And then, uh, if you guys are using the same coilovers. Uh, you don't have to do anything with them, you can just install them. Just remember, remove the nuts, and you just basically slide it back on how you remove this one. Alright, so right now he's adjusting his coilovers. This is how you adjust the height. You bring this one out, and then you start twisting this. Um, and you can still do this on your car. You don't have to do it outside of your car, but he's just doing it outside of his car. I can see way. Alright, I think this is how much he's going to lower it. That's about... ¿Cuánto? ¿Unas tres pulgadas? ¿Cuatro? Like three, three inches, but if it ends up being too low, like the car scrapes or anything, it's okay, we can adjust it um, while the coal over is in the car. Oh, you wait. Yeah. And um, before you put the upper um, strut bolts, add some uh, thread lock so they don't loosen up over time. All right, so right now he's tightening the bolts by hand, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the torque specs down here somewhere on the screen. All right, so now you wanna go ahead and put the lower strut bolts on. Um, all you gotta do is just jack up your jack and then just line up the holes, just like that. There you go. And then just put some thread lock at the end of the bolt. You don't have to put too much, just a little drop. Just like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave the torque Torx back somewhere here on the screen. All right, so next step, reinstall the end link right here. Um, and sometimes it's kind of a little hard to bring this in. So what I recommend is grab a pry bar. Grab a pry bar and just, see where I'm prying right there, down there. And then you just start prying. This is gonna start moving. And then you just basically move it, pry and like push at the same time. Something like that. And then after that, just add your thread lock, your nut, and then uh, torque it down to spec. Once it starts moving, basically you're just gonna grab an Allen wrench, and just place it here, and then hold it in place. And I think this is a size uh, six. All right, last thing you gotta do is uh, reconnect or reinstall your uh, brake line and your ABS sensor. So your brake line just goes first, like that. Make sure you like hold it in place, and then after that, your uh, ABS. Oh shit! And there you go. It's Twelve. And then tighten, and then that's it. That's all. That's all you gotta do. And I just hand tighten these. All right, so we just got done with both sides. Right now, we're about to lower it. Um, we still need to do the back, but we just want to see how the front is looking like. Right, wait. Ay, dale, güey, espérate. Dale. Ay, güey, ¿qué es eso? Damn, bro. Ay, dale. Albergar. No es mucho. O oh, sí. Es que no, no lo, le había tomado el video antes, cómo se miraba. All right, so this is how it's looking so far. Still looks like a monster truck. Got like two fingers over here. Back here it's like four. All right, so now we're doing the back over here. There's a little cover right here that you um, take off and then that reveals the top of the strut. Um, then you gotta remove this nut up here. All right, so from this side there's two bolts you gotta loosen up. This one right here and then this one right here. This one's a strut bolt and then this one's a, the knuckle bolt that goes right here. These are both 17 millimeter bolts, the down ones. And then you gotta remove the end link on this side, just the bottom nut, and that is a um, size 14, this one over here. And then once you get uh, these two off, 
that third one and then the top one up here this top one up here we get it from the inside from the trunk then that should be it then you should be good to pull everything out make sure you use the jack down here to drop everything and then once you put the new um, coil over in this piece goes in under the bottom from under the bottom down here like this like that and then this sits on top like this and then you just got to spin it until it's tight <clears throat> then you put this bushing on top of the spring this goes on uh, on here just like that and then you get your new new strut so when you install your strut basically he's gonna come with the washer right here and then he's gonna have a nut you take the nut off take the washer off you leave the bushing on and then you install it like this Go ahead, install it. Like that. And then over here, so you can feel it. You install the washer, like that, and then you install the nut. And then you time that, and I'm gonna leave the torque specs uh, on the screen below. All right, so when, you put, when you're putting everything back together, you wanna put the steering knuckle to the lower control arm first, the bolt. So as you guys can see, I have this bolt, the first one in already. So put it for acá. So what we're gonna do is jack up the lower control arm and we're gonna align the the strut to the steering knuckle down here. So this strut right here, we're gonna align to this hole right over here. And then you also wanna make sure that your end link Go straight down to it. All right, so as you guys can see, we're almost done. Uh, just finishing up with the last couple bolts. Oh man, all we gotta do is put this wheel back on and we should uh, be ready to drop. Uh, one last thing that I forgot to record is this end link over here. Right there. Uh, that one right there. Um, I'll put the torque spec right on the bottom of the screen. And for these two bolts, I'll put the torque spec down as well. And then, all right, so finally done after like four hours. Okay, it took kind of long, but um, yeah, let's see how it looks like now. Trickle. Go trickle. All right, toma la wey, toma la, toma la. All right, so it's moment of truth. Bruh. See I hope poquito. There's a little bit of gap in between the wheel and the fender, but it did drop like the three fingers. Um pinch in Alright, so right now we're test driving it, see how it feels. Tatiesa la suspension? So we're going over some bumps right now. Feels a little bit stiff. We're gonna see how it, how it drives, I guess. They dropped about, I'd say, like two fingers. Before it was like four fingers in the back, now it's two. So I'd say about like inch and a half, two inches. Same with the front. All right, so that brings me to this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Anything you want to say? I don't get to see ways. Which was the He gives it an eight out of 10. He said the price is, he said the price is good and the ride quality. Um, 
I mean, it's barely his first day driving it, but um, he says he gives like eight out of ten. Um, it's not too bad. It is a little stiff, but um, okay. Saludos para México, eh? Oh. Uh, Raza de Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, peace out guys. Remember if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, just comment down below if you guys have any questions. Till next time, peace out guys.